We were somewhere around Barstow, on the edge of the desert, when the drugs began to take hold. I remember saying something like, I do it lightheaded. Maybe you should drive. Suddenly, there was a terrible roar all around us, and the sky was full of what looked like huge bats, all swooping and screeching and diving around the car. And a voice was screaming, Holy, Holy Jesus, where are these goddamn animals? Hey, say something! Hmm? Never mind. It's your turn to drive. No point mentioning these bats, I thought. The poor bastard will see them soon enough. Two bags of grass, 75 pellets of mescaline, five sheets of high-powered blotter acid, a salt shaker half full of cocaine, a whole galaxy of multicolored uppers, downers, screamers, laughers, also a quarter tequila, quarter rum, case of beer, pint of raw ether, and two dozen amyl. Not that we needed all that for the trip, but once you get locked into a serious drug collection, the tendency is to push it as far as you can. The only thing that really worried me was the ether. There is nothing in the world more helpless and irresponsible and depraved than a man in the depths of an ether binge. And I knew we'd get into that rotten stuff pretty soon. A House subcommittee report says illegal drugs killed 160 American GIs last year, 40 of them in Vietnam. Drugs were still... One dog, man! One dog over the line! One talk over the line. One talk, you poor fool. Sweet, sweet Mary. Where do you see those goddamn bats, man? Let's give the boy a lift. What? No! Wait! We can't stop here. This is bat country. Ah! 